Well, this week, the first case, uh, human case rather, of West Nile for 2023 was detected in Dallas. And just yesterday, one was reported in Montgomery County as well. Yeah, health reporter Haley Hernandez is back with us. She's going to explain the dangers of West Nile. Yeah, I mean, West Nile, chikungunya, dengue, those are all a threat to our public health. And now we know the first human infection of West Nile in our area is a woman in her 60s who's recovering at home in Montgomery County. And the Harris County Health Department says people need to know they've found evidence of the the disease in that, that community as well. So now is the time to protect yourself. Dr. Max Vigilant with the Mosquito and Vector Control Division says there's proof local mosquitoes are infected with West Nile. He and his team set traps like this. The mosquitoes will come trying to lay the eggs, get in there, get sucked in by the fan, and they get in there and they can't come out. And test them for disease. So far, in the one we've seen is West Nile, West Nile, West Nile. The good news is, but we haven't seen any human cases. Dr. Suma Manjanith with Kelsey Siebold in Pearland says it's possible people may get West Nile and not feel sick enough to see a doctor. A lot of them may be asymptomatic or very mildly symptomatic, so they may not even have the need to seek any kind of health care. But some people can get deathly ill with this virus. To protect yourself, use the insect repellent approved by the Environmental Protection Agency with one of these ingredients. They're safe even for pregnant and breastfeeding women, according to the CDC. However, they say do not use products containing oil of lemon eucalyptus or paramethane diol on children under three. Do not apply insect repellent to a kid's hands, eyes, mouth, cuts, or irritated skin. Instead, adults spray repellent on your hands and then apply it to your child. I asked about the bracelets and patches for clothes which use citronella or other plant-based ingredients. The botanicals are not very effective, there are a few, but also the length. Some botanical products, they do not provide benefit greater than a few minutes only. Meanwhile, Harris County is spraying in the areas they've found West Nile, but they ask you to help them too. Clean out our bathtubs or bath containers for water collection, because a lot of folks collect water for, for um, taking care of the plants, and they, we encourage that, but just pay attention to what you do, how you do it, and help protect yourself, and we will help the rest to protect the larger part of the environment. Now, plus, Dr. Manjanet says that you also have to reapply bug spray, just similarly to how you reapply sunscreen, although not as often. But the main thing you need to remember is that the sunscreen needs to go on your skin first, and then you spray the mosquito repellent over it. And you're oh. supposed to put the repellent over your clothes as well, because they can bite through your clothing. Sometimes I've done that, yeah. Give it a little extra on the pant leg or whatever it yeah. is. But sunscreen first. Yeah, it's good to know. So do we know what areas in particular we're talking about where this West Nile's back? Yeah, he said that they were testing the mosquitoes uh, that the ones that tested positive were in the West U area, East Harris County, and the Woodlands. Uh, now we know, obviously, that woman in Montgomery County as well. And he says that historically, those are always the areas that they first detect it. And then July and August is when the West Nile really ramps up. And then